This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. All right, how much can daily adjusters make? And I think that, that that's a good question and, and I get it. I mean, I, you know, I get a lot of questions and that's, that's one of the big ones. Um, I, I think that daily is one of those like, um, people will be drawn to this industry and it's maybe you watching this video um, and you say, well, you know, I, I heard that people can make a lot of money on hurricanes and stuff like that. And then I heard about this thing called daily adjusting where I don't have to leave my home. I can just work from home, right? Or work in my home area. And that's, that would be daily claims. Um, you can do that, right? Um, but you kind of, the way the industry works and traditionally speaking, sort of the pathway to getting to daily is that you have to have some claims experience. Um, they will, they're much less likely to, to give you cl daily claims assignments unless they're desperate, right? Or you're the only person available. Um, if you don't have, otherwise have some claims experience, generally that comes in the form of catastrophe, right? And catastrophe is one of those things where they're like, hey, you got this, you know, your Xactimate level two certification, you got some training at, you know, Adjuster TV's fast track deployment, and you've got a State Farm Carrier certification, we're gonna throw you to the fire, right? And see if you survive, right? It's trial by fire, right? So they, they're, they're, new people can get on catastrophes much, 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 much easier than they can on daily. But daily is not a bad place to end up because while with catastrophe, you're gonna make all your money between March and October, right? So you might be, might be flat if you're not doing anything else, which I don't, I recommend that you do other things the rest of the year. Um, claims related or not, but in that spike in the middle of, of a storm season, you're making all your money in that period of time and it's flat again, right? With daily, you're just making money, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, you're gonna get toilet overflows, um, vehicle strikes the house, vandalism, fire, right? These are things that don't care what the weather's doing, they don't care what the economy is doing, they don't care about anything, um, they're gonna happen randomly in your in any area but in you know where you're at right and if there aren't enough adjusters in your area and you have some experience already then you can do daily claims and again a lot of people get drawn to that big spike that hurricane stuff um and say well you know i can make ninety thousand dollars a month or i can make you know i know somebody that made five hundred thirty five thousand dollars in a storm season and i've heard that too i never got anywhere near that i don't know how they did it um i suspect it may be they handled lots and lots of total losses or they're full of it one or the other, um, because there's only so many days in a year and I've worked every single day of an entire year and I, most I made was low 200,000s. Um, and it could be, you know, I just was seeing lots and lots of little claims, which is probably what the case was that particular year. So, but anyway, um, the, the daily thing is still, the, the way it gets paid is, in, in a lot of cases, is the same as you do on CAT, which would be, the, the primary way, way would be component or fee schedule, right? Where you could basically get a commission on each claim. Daily claims are gonna be a lot bigger, but you're gonna do a lot fewer of them um, because you know a high volume of uh, daily claims in a week would be, like a really high volume week would be like 15 daily claims. And that's, you know, on CAT, you could probably do those in two days, right? Depending on how fast you are, uh, or maybe three days. Um, but and by a week, I mean like seven days, right? Um, so 15 claims in a week doing dailies is a high, high volume, uh, but those are gonna be probably gonna be pretty big claims. Um, you know, a typical kind of like average might be six to 10-ish range, right, for daily. and if you're doing that every week of the year, maybe you, you peel off and take a vacation at some point for a week or two or three, and then just get right back into it. Um, I think that, you know, I was gonna talk about like how daily adjust, how much you guys, how much daily adjusters can make, but I think it's more instructive to say that probably can end up making more than cat adjusters a whole lot more consistently. So I think if, if you're gonna look at the progression of somebody who's, you wanna be a, a, a claims professional and you want to progress, right? So you wanna start somewhere and then get somewhere else, a better place, uh, presumably, right? Then you're gonna start with a uh, cat field and you're gonna work your way, do a storm, you know, two plus storms, you know, a year's worth of uh, storm season stuff. Um, especially if you do a variety of different kinds of claims, like you do a lot of water claims and like wind and hail and stuff like that, maybe some smokers or fire claims. And then you can transfer, transition over to 
Uh, I mean, maybe you want to do that for two or three or four years, and maybe one of those years, a big hurricane will pop up or a big wildfire or something where you get a bunch of total losses, and you can pay off your house, right? And then you can say, all right, well, I'm tired of being on the road. I got to pay for a truck. I got to pay for a house. Um, I'm ready to just stay home. I'm tired of being on the road because that that kicked my butt. And it doesn't matter how good you are. It's cat can kick your butt, right? Then you come over here and you jump into daily and you're just gonna wake up in the morning and be like, all right, what am I doing today? Well, at 9.30, I'm going to Bob Smith's house to meet his contractor and look at his water damage to whatever, right? And then at one o'clock, I'm going over here and then that's it for the day. And then the next day, I don't have any inspections, but I gotta get caught up on some phone calls and then I'll have lunch and I'm gonna take my wife out, you know, out sit on a patio or something, whatever, right? Not a bad gig, right? It's a little bit, it can be intense, right? You can, if daily claims, there's there's a lot of work, um, a lot of big claims, and you're going to be getting really, really deep into the policy. Um, and it can, it can, depending on where you're at, and again, this is one of the factors, um, it can be a full-time job for two people, but that you're the two people inside of yourself, right? Um, or it could be a little bit less, it could be a little more fits and starts. Um, one of the differences, and probably one of the cool things about doing daily is that again, depending on where you live, it may be that you like go work for a company like Alacrity in Seattle and do Liberty Mutual claims and they give you more than you can handle, right? Or you, they give you as much as you can handle, I put it that way. And you don't need to, you can get 12 claims a week, no problem from Liberty um, in Seattle area, right? Seattle, Portland, or well, up to the I-5 corridor in one of those, both those states, right? Um, or maybe you'll go over to Tri-Cities or you'll go to Ellensburg or whatever, right? Or you'll go to the other side of the state and you'll do some stuff in Liberty Lake or Spokane area, right? Lots of, those are highly, it's a highly populated area, Washington state, um, right? And so they may, and, and they're, they're, they're chronically short of help up there for some reason, right? Um, so you can go up there and you can work and work and work. If you live there, you can be busy all year round, no problem. Um, but then you might end up going, you, maybe you live in, you know, uh, let's pick a place, think of it. And again, I, I, I can't, sp any other place besides the example I just gave you, I can't sit here and say, well, this is how it is in this other place. Specifically, I'm just gonna use as an example. So you know what, I'm gonna make up a town. Let's say that you live in a place where um, it's maybe like Wichita, Kansas. Is that a good example? Um, maybe there aren't as many like, there, there, maybe there's a, a greater mix of insurance companies, and so they have each one has less market share, and so they can only give. And maybe there's a little bit of competition. There's some other adjusters there, um, and so you, you know maybe this company A can only give you two claims a week. Company B, this is where you need to start picking up. Like you build a business, right, where you have multiple companies that you're running claims for. Company B gives you three claims a week. Company C gives you one claim a week, right? So then you can start building up your six to ten a week. And maybe you have to do run claims for four companies, right? It gets a little bit more complicated and a little bit more of a logistical situation, right? And, and especially with the software, um, but that's that may be how you have to do it because you might you might look into doing daily and you talk to somebody and you're like, well, we can only give you one claim every two weeks there, and you're like, oh, well, I guess I can't do dailies here. Well, that's not necessarily true because you can you can stack them as a daily adjuster. Do not try to do that as a cat adjuster. It's not a thing. Don't do it. So you'll hear people saying that they're doing it, especially on hurricanes. Don't don't even try. Don't even. It's not a good idea. It's a fail. One company on a hurricane will keep you busier than you ever could possibly imagine that you'd want to be. Why add more companies to that? It just it's, it won't work. It will not work. Okay. So for daily, um, I think the pros of daily are that you can, it's a year round deal, right? And especially if you stay there when everybody else goes to that hurricane, you're going to get more work, right? You can scale it, I think in a lot of cases. And again, it depends on where you live. If you, if you live in a town that has 300 people and then the next, the closest town that has more than 10,000 people in it is three hours away, that may be more of a challenge, right? But for the vast majority of people that live in, you know, small, medium, large sized cities, you can scale a business as a, as a daily adjuster um, by adding more carriers and more, you know, it may be multiple carriers through one firm or multiple, you know, firms, each one having one or more carriers with them, right? So it's a little bit more complicated. And again, this is why you got to start over here as a field adjuster because, um, or sorry, as a cap, field adjuster, 
So that you can really build that muscle memory and see the claims process repeated over and over and over and over and over again, which is the, the, really the main piece that you need to be able to have locked in and nailed um, before you try to tackle like claims that are like all over the board and complexity and di weight, really, really different policy types, right? And especially if you start working for different companies, a lot more complicated. This is one of the reasons why very few I firms that I know of will try to put brand new adjusters, people who have never done even construction or any kind of insurance, anything, are, are not going to really have an opportunity to do daily without going through trial by fire as a, as a field adjuster. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.